Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Herp Ian here in Beijing, and I am in the world's largest film museum. You better believe it. The world's largest film museum here in Beijing. It's the first time I've been here, and it is pretty spectacular, I have to say. So if you want to see it, come with me, because I'm desperate to share it with you, because I have been really impressed by it. It is magical. Anyway, let me share it with you. It is just, yeah, it's one of the best things I've seen. Modern things. There's a lot of traditional things here in Beijing, obviously, which are beautiful, but this, it's different. Yeah, let me share it with you, man. It's just spectacular. It is really difficult to share with you the sheer size of this place. I mean, it is massive. That video hall is just, I mean, it's three levels high, if not more, spiral winding uh, footpath. It's just incredible. I'm actually just waiting for the space version, the, the kind of outer space and the earth to come up. because I want to share that with you because I saw that when I came in and I really think that will give you maybe a little bit more of an indication of just how big this place actually is. Well, certainly that hall. I'll explore more. Stick with me, because this is pretty cool. Yeah, so one of the challenges I have is that so much of it is in Chinese, obviously, but I can get by using the translation apps and so on. It doesn't mean that I don't enjoy it because it's still pretty spectacular, but it just takes a little bit more work to understand what different theatres are or segments of the museum. And there are a few segments and there's, I think, 20 of them, which I'll update soon on what that is, but it is a lot of walking, a lot of... Um, you know, studying and trying to understand what's going on, but I still recommend it because I really enjoy it and film is kind of my thing, so definitely recommend the trip here. Uh, war movies are popular here in China. I often uh, joke with Lisa that every time I turn on the Chinese TV back in the house, there's always a Chinese war movie on, uh, and I get it, it's patriotic, it, you know, not my theme of watching uh, movies, I'm not big on war, as you may have gathered if you followed my channel, but I do think it serves purpose to watch a war movie, because it tells you how terrible war is, even if it ends up in a patriotic message, it still usually depicts people dying and so on, so you know, not my pick of a theme, but it is, again, reasonably interesting.
It is pretty quiet today, but just note, it is midweek, a Wednesday afternoonish, and um, the schools are back in place, so there's not a lot of people here, families and so on. It is a little bit outside the main drag of the city, so you do have to make up a bit of a journey here. But if you're watching the video and you think, oh, the economy's crashed, blah, 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 nobody's there, then it's not true. <laughs> this would be busy at the weekend, extremely busy. I choose to come when it's quiet because then I can enjoy it and make some videos for you. I think I'm getting a little bit lost and mixed up in the way I'm supposed to go through the halls to see the different exhibitions, but either way I'm getting to see some good stuff, so... All the same, I guess. This is what I wish I knew a little bit more about Chinese cinema, but this hall here is maybe my generation are more familiar with because it's the Chucky Chan, it's the Bruce Lee, um, more for the Hong Kong movies because that's what was being made I think earlier than the Chinese cinema uh, and then exported to the Western culture. So my experience first of all was mostly to do with Bruce Lee type movies and uh, Hong Kong, not so much Macau, definitely not Taiwan. But I'm going to go and have a look at them so I can understand a little bit more curious mind and all that. But yeah. Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee somewhere. The oldest cinema in China, the very first multiplex cinema, is in Beijing and I've actually been there. It's down at Tiananmen and I did a video from there. Uh, so if you go to my channel, you'll be able to see that. I was actually also interviewing a fantastic guy from Glasgow who's lived here in Beijing for about 35, 36 years. His name is Bruce Connolly. But if you get a chance, check my channel. There's a lot more there for you to see. But yeah, the first cinema in Beijing. Been there, done that. Didn't buy a t-shirt. Okay, let me give you a little bit of an insight into the sheer size of this place. It was built in 2008 um, for the 100th anniversary of the birth of Chinese film making. It has since then around about 3 million visitors. It's on the north east side of the city. It's actually a bit of a journey from the middle of the city, but I would recommend it. It's got um, 20 exhibition halls. It's actually its size is 43,000 square meters and yes I am reading this from a screen here and it is massive it is just beautiful it has many exhibition zones in fact there is 20 exhibition halls in total one to ten are used to present the history of the industry and then 11 to 20 is used to reflect the techniques of movie making over the years and then it expands up through different regions of movie making. Um, actually it's got things like uh, Hong Kong, Macau movie making, Taiwan movies, film shooting techniques, artistic design, a whole lot of many different things. So, um, And then ending in my favourite which is film editing which is again another nice place to, to walk through. But the highlight I've got to say is that central hall where they have the screen which displays a whole range of themes as you walk through and I also believe that the actual floor is sensitive to walking so there is some lily pods and stuff that, that, that is on the floor and as you walk they disappear or you can jump from lily pad to lily pad and it reacts to the footprint so all in all it's a fantastic experience and I would definitely recommend it. Oh, I also forgot, it is a working cinema, so there is, I think there's four cinema halls here and one of the largest IMAX theatres in Beijing here in the same building. So all in all, it's well worth a visit and if you do time it with a movie, then you can come here and experience the whole movie, um, film movie experience, which I would recommend you do. I've not got time to watch a movie this time, maybe next time.
this is a cinema hall, the main entrance that, that feeds into the IMAX and cinema area. And it's getting busy now, so that's a good sign. Told you. So what you saw there was the biggest film museum in the world, the largest film museum in the world, which is also an active cinema, IMAX and everything. All the stuff you want to explore about cinema was there. It was excellent. I've walked a lot. I'm tired. I want to go home, grab a beer. You know me well. This is me, Ian, here in Beijing saying to you, take care of yourself, your family and your community. And as always, hurt. peace out. Catch you in the next video. Thank you. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago.